determine the smallest possible perimeter of a rectangle that has an area of 2,500 square feet. Okay, so we want to find out what the length and the width are. So I'll say that this measures x, so this will be x also. And since we have a rectangle, I'm going to call this y, and this will be y also, of course. So the area is just the length times the width. So x times y. And we know that is, you guys are probably hearing dogs barking in the background. So the area is equal to 2500, which is equal to xy. But what do we want to optimize? We want to optimize the perimeter. And the perimeter is going to be the sum of all the sides. So once we simplify, we x plus x is 2x, and y plus y is 2y. So this is the function that we're trying to optimize, because we want to have the smallest possible perimeter. So, but before we get started, what I need to do is find or just to rewrite this equation with just one variable. We have two, we have x and y. So what I'm going to do is isolate one of the variables. So I'm just going to divide both sides by x. So these cancel out. So I get y equals 2500 over x. And I'm going to take this and I'll plug it in for y right here. So the perimeter will be equal to 2x plus 2 times 2500 over x. So the perimeter function would be 2x plus, now 2 times 2500. Remember that 2 is just 2 over 1, right? We're multiplying fractions, top, top, bottom, bottom. So 2 times 2500, 5000. 1 times x is just x. Now what do we need to do? Well, we need to minimize this, the perimeter. So I'm going to take the derivative and make it equal to 0 and solve for x. So the derivative of 2x is just 2. Now what is the derivative of 5,000 over x? Well, this is equivalent to 5,000 times x to the power of negative 1. So I can bring down the exponent, multiply by the 5,000, so I get negative 5,000x to the power of negative 2. Because I subtract 1 from the exponent, right? And we're going to make that equal to 0. So let me just rewrite this. This is 2 minus, two minus 5,000 over x squared. Because x to the power of negative 2 is just 1 over x squared. So I can just rewrite this as 5,000 over x squared. That's equal to 0. Now, I will just subtract the 2 from both sides. I want to isolate x squared eventually, and then later x. So subtract 2 from both sides. They cancel out. So I get negative 5,000 over x squared equals negative 2. Then I'll multiply both sides by negative 1 so that both sides are now positive. I can do that anytime I want. Then what I'll do is that I will cross multiply to isolate x squared. So multiply both sides by x squared. So these cancel out. So I have 5,000 equals 2x squared. Then we can divide both sides by 2. 5,000 divided by 2, 2,500 equals x squared. Now I can finally just divide both sides, or sorry, take the square root of both sides. We usually get plus or minus. The square root of 2,500 is 50 equals x. But note that in this context, the negative won't even make sense. So we'll ignore that. Why is that? Well, we can't have a negative length. No way. No way at all. So x is 50. OK, what about y? y will be, now once, where is the, here, there we go. y is 2,500 divided by x. If x is 50, y is going to be 50 as well then, because 2,500 over 50 is 50. Now, we want to know the perimeter, the smallest possible perimeter. 
So now we can plug in the great numbers that we found right here for the perimeter function. Plug in 50 for x, 50 for y. So we're going to end up with 200. It's 2 times 50, 100, plus 2 times 50, 100 again. So if we have a square with an area of 25 square feet, the smallest possible perimeter is 200 feet. That's it.